Now it's an early shout for a penalty for Lonson, and it is being given. Ian Buchanan in the thick of the action. And in the early few moments, Liam Buchanan. Four goals for Livingston this season, all competitions. Oh, he's off the post. It's the most tamest of penalties. And St Mirren survive. Here's Carl Gallagher. Agnew thinking about the strike. Oh, fantastic! Out of the blue for Stevie Mallon. Out of the blue in terms of magic. And it's the same to get off to a flyer after the dodgy first few minutes of the penalty. Goals wise, that is spectacular. Mallon's fifth and Saints up and running. Mallon. Harrison. Cameron Harrison. Not convincing by a calm, but away it goes. May fall kindly for Buchanan. And there's a chance and a huge opportunity for John Sheeran, who is there beside Lemmy's top goal scorer for the season. But couldn't put it in the net, put it over the bar. Big chance. 17 minutes into the second half. Gary Glenn with a, another corner. Declan Gallagher trying to get up there. Thompson in there. It's fantastic chance. Sheeran should have scored. There's Glenn. Couple more big moments for the home side. Aaron Newton, Marlon over this. There's Stevie Marlin. Oh, and there was a flick through. And Andy Webster, he thought, was going to tap it in for two. And well, that would have finished off any hopes of a Livingston comeback, you'd have thought. Gary Glenn again. Hugo Faria trying to knock back towards the box. And there is the chance. He'll be cutting in there again. And now it's a shout for a penalty. Sheeran goes down. And the referee has said yellow card. Thank you very much. That's a dive. I'm losing out. I think that this is the referee. Long is back to his feet, Kennedy now finds Mallon. McMullen. Mallon still going. Death and Gallagher. A little nudge in the back, but not enough for Bob McMullen to go down, and it's his turn to get booked for simulation. And it's over. And it's a win for the Saints. It's not been a game that's been too pleasing on the eye. Game of two halves. It may have been different if Levy Cannon scored in the fourth minute, but he hit the post with his penalty and see Marlon's bullet of a goal in the 12th minute was the only goal of the game so Mim dominated the first half Lins then took charge in the second to Mim McCann to sit deeper and deeper but in the end it is three points again away from home for Ian Murray's side and on to double figures points wise this season in the championship table full time from the Tony Macaroni arena Livingston nil St Mim won yeah, fantastic result for us, first and foremost. Um, you know, in this, in this league, points are obviously vital. Away from home, we, we've got a good record away. Performance-wise, wasn't our best. We've, you know, we know we can do better and do, and do better with the ball, but without the ball, I thought today our work rate and our, the way we pressed it and the way we threw ourselves in front of things in the defensive third was excellent and full credit to the players. Now, it could have been all different in that first half with that penalty early on. What did you make of it? Yeah, you know, it, it was a soft one to give, but... You give it the referee decision to make by contact in the box, so we're disappointed with the award of it, especially with young Barry. It was his first game for a while and not a great start, but he, you know, he recovered from that very well and putting a solid shift in, in the right back. Uh, we get a slice of luck and the Buchanan hits, hits the post. And it's just little things like that in games that, that change it, especially that early. It's, it's something that we weren't getting early on in the season, a uh, you know, fine line of winning games, and then we score for five, ten minutes later with a, a wonderful strike from Stevens. So, you know, the games are finally balanced as, as we see most weeks and today we got the rubber of the green. 
And you mentioned that goal, uh, a bit of magic. Stevie Marlon's prone to that now, isn't he? Yeah, he's, um, he's getting a name for himself, so it, the challenge for Stevie is now to keep reproducing that because teams are getting wise to him. He's done exceptionally well. He, we gave him a wee, I wouldn't say a, a kick up the backside after the wave, but we certainly had a word with him and, and told him what we expect of him, and, and he's responded in the most incredible fashion for us, and full credit to the, to the guy. He's got a huge future in the game as long as he, he goes and develops and works hard and he gets his reward day, his, his strike is an incredible one. In the second half, Livingston got a lot more of the ball. You did say maybe not the best performance of the season. Was it down to that or is it just Livingston that played better in the second half? I give full credit to Livingston because I, I said before the game, for me they're not the worst team in the league. The, the three times they've played them now in three very, very tight games. I just think they may be in a wee false position. They've got stuck in a rut, especially at home of not winning football games. So, you know, for me, I, I'm not convinced that they should be where they are, but, you know, it's, it's no consolation of Livingston at this moment in time. But my assessment of the game was that they'll be very disappointed not to get something out of it. And a great travelling support as well, making the voices here for 90 minutes. Absolutely. They're, you know, they're in, integral to our success on the pitch. The players could get a buzz when they see them coming out. You know, the back in the game was throughout the match. You know, never for one minute did they get in the players' backs. So it helps games like this getting over the line. So full credit to the guys for travelling as well. You know, we need to reward these guys that travel now with the home performances. And Rangers next week, big performance needed at home, but also against the runaway leaders. Yep, yep. You know, they've come in for a couple of tough games in the last couple of weeks. So, you know, we go into it full of confidence. They'll be looking to keep their unbeaten record intact. As a home team, we have to try and find a way to cause Rangers problems. But it's certainly a game that we relish. It's an opportunity to sit back on the Saturday and, and watch other games and take in other teams. And then we go Sunday. So it's vital we keep up our form. We're, we're four undefeated now in all competitions, so we want to extend that.